Have you heard Jesus is coming back for his bride? And the spirit and the bride say, come. Read Revelation 22, 17. And who's the bride? Read Ephesians 5, 27. Visit the website now. And the spirit and the bride say, come.org. Mail correspondence to And the spirit and the bride say, come. P.O. Box 210, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30086. Or send an email to info at And the spirit and the bride say, come.org. Praise God, praise God, praise God. And welcome once again to our broadcast. We thank the Lord for this opportunity and we thank you for tuning in and being with us today on our broadcast. I'm your broadcast announcer, Elder David Morris, and our broadcast is, and the spirit and the bride say, come. We're excited today because we're here once again to share with you that Jesus is on his way back for his bride. And we are rejoicing in that, to know that we are a part of his bride. We thank the Lord for you being able to tune in with us. We thank you for supporting our work, even through our YouTube channel, our Facebook. We thank you because without you, the work would not be successful. And we invite you to go to our YouTube channel. You can reach it by going to our website. And you all you have to do is just go to our contact page. Our website is in the spirit and the bride say come dot org. Go to our contact page and hit the links to our YouTube, our Facebook, Instagram. And when you go to our YouTube channel, you can view other videos uh, concerning the Bride of Christ and New Jerusalem. Go and view our videos. I'm sure that you will be blessed. And while you're there, be sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll be a blessing to our ministry. Well, the Lord is doing great things. He's preparing his bride, the church, for the upcoming marriage ceremony of the Lamb that Revelation speaks of. And today, we want to announce our title as being The Bride of Christ, A Divine Love Story. The Bride of Christ, A Divine Love Story. If by chance you may be looking for divine love in this world. If we're looking for divine love in this world, we're looking in the wrong place. You see, this world does not offer divine love. It has a form, but it's denying the power thereof. The Bible describes divine love in the book of Ephesians, the third chapter and the 19th verse. That's Ephesians, the third chapter and the 19th verse. And if you have your Bible, we, we always invite you to bring it to our broadcast so you can follow us in the word of God and see that we are reading right out of his word. That's Ephesians, the third chapter and the 19th verse. Listen to what it says. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that he might be filled, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. You see, divine love passes all knowledge. It cannot be explained with this world's philosophy. So if we're looking for love in this divine love, in this world, we're going to be let down because that hardly, the, the, what I just read, the scripture, that hardly describes the love of this world. You see, the love of this world is described like the Egyptians in ancient times used to search for water. Both of them are very similar. How the 
ancient Egyptians used to search for water and how they went about it closely resembles the way that the world goes about looking for love and certainly divine love. What the ancient Egyptians used to do was to take a stick that was called a divining rod and they would shape it in the form of a fork like a bicycle handball and they would grab this stick on both sides and then they would walk around with this stick and supposedly when they found water the stick would go down automatically to the ground and point to where water was. Now let me say this practice is still being used in some places, even in the United States. That's how the ancient Egyptians searched for water. And it's similar to how the world is searching for divine love. But my friend, you may find water by using a stick, but you will only find divine love in Jesus Christ. All oh, glory. Hallelujah. That's the only way we will find divine love. If we're looking for any other way, we're looking for it in the wrong place. We're looking for it in the wrong place. Go to St. John, the 14th chapter and the 6th verse. St. John, the 14th chapter and the 6th verse and you'll find what the Bible is talking about in divine love 14 and 6 and who controls it and who manifests divine love St. John 14 and 6 reads Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. My friend, that is the only way that we can find divine love is through Jesus Christ. Now listen how the dictionary defines divine love. This is the way the dictionary defines divine love. First of all, it's above what is human. We humans cannot reach divine love. Divine love is above glory. Hallelujah. Mm. Divine love is above human. It's given or inspired by God. It has no hidden agendas and no becauses. What do you mean? The love of this world always have an agenda. I love you because of what you can give me. I love you because what you got. That motivates love in this world. But it's not divine love. It's motivated by this. A because. I love you today and because I don't get what I want from you, I hate you tomorrow. Oh, glory. Do you follow me? We're talking about divine love. Has no agendas. Has no strings attached to it. That's, what, that's why it's divided by the love of this world and the divine love of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. The divine love, last but not least, changes the nature of an individual. This world cannot deal with 
the love of this world cannot deal with the nature of an individual. Divine love changed the nature of an individual through divine love. That's the difference between this world's love and divine love. It's described in the book of 1 Corinthians 15, 51 and 52. 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the 51st and the second, 52nd verse of the book of Corinthians. Now this right here is what separates the world's love and divine love. It's not about walking in Central Park holding hands. We got it mixed up. See, we're looking at too much Hollywood and we're basing what goes on in heaven and matching it up trying to, glory to God, I feel the moving of the Holy Ghost and trying to adapt that to this world. What this world is doing and showing forth love and match it up with heaven, but it won't work. Listen to what Paul says, hallelujah. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, get this in your Bible now, 15. Chapter 51st and the 57th, 52nd verse. Listen at what it says. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. In other words, everybody ain't going to go to where the grave. But we shall all be changed. Now we're getting into the divine love. We all have got to be changed. Our nature has got to be changed for us to inherit eternal life. The 52nd verse, listen, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, <clears throat> glory, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And the 53rd verse cannot be omitted. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. That's divine love. Not walking around talking about I love you and you don't love me and why don't you do this? No, no. Divine love is sent here through Jesus to change us from mortal to immortality. So we can really understand divine love. Its purpose is to change us. And that is divine love. Where we can be with Jesus, the bridegroom, the Lamb of God, throughout eternity. That's divine love, my friend. Not just what's going around here. It's going to pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But not one jot or till of his word shall fail. This is going to pass away. But divine love is going through eternity. When we are able to spend it with Jesus. And really understand what it is. That's what divine love is. As a result of sin, we only experience divine love through Jesus Christ. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. A divine love story has nothing to do with the flesh, 
no matter how many movies we see what Hollywood makes. Has nothing to do with it. Hollywood and all of that is going to pass away. Glory. Hallelujah. We got to find divine love in Jesus Christ so we can inherit it and we won't pass away because without it, we will pass away also. Everybody that enters into that holy city will walk in with divine love. Yes, they will. And this will be a memory if it's remembered. Don't get hung up in what you see. Faith come by hearing the word of God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We will see divine love one day, but we will see it through Jesus or we won't see it at all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our divine love story starts right here and right now. It starts right here and right now by accepting Jesus. You can accept him right now and divine love will start in you immediately preparing you to meet the Lamb of God. If you are there right now, Pray with me, if you will, in your heart, you're desiring, you know, you've been through many changes in the name of love, of love. Try divine love in Jesus. We you bow your head? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you knowing that you are divine love. Jesus is love. But we need to be saved. We need to give our life to you. We repent right now. Lord, come into our hearts and forgive us of our sins and our trespass against you. That divine love may begin within us. We pray as forgiveness. And we believe it. We confess our sins with our mouth and we believe it in the name of Jesus. We claim it done. Amen and thank you, Jesus. All right, brothers and sisters. If you pray that prayer and you believe in the Bible, say you believe that God has raised Jesus from the dead. You repent of your sins. Divine love is beginning. Oh, he'll give it to you. He said, no good thing will I withhold from them that love me. So we thank you right now for being with us. We ask you to remember to visit us on our social sites. Go to and the spirit and the bride say come dot org, our website. And put on the links. You'll find the links to Facebook. You find the links to YouTube and Instagram. Go to our channel on YouTube and view these announcements, these messages on what is to come. Brothers and sisters, I'm not a prophet. I'm only just revealing to you what the Lord has revealed to me through his word, not through my understanding of what I think my philosophy, but we're trying to stay in the word of God. So go and view us and be sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. We'll be blessed. And I know you will too. So we thank the Lord for you. And remember, we're on our way to the new Jerusalem. And we live in the blessed hope that we will meet you there. Let us go to the new Jerusalem. Oh, the spirit and the
Spirit 